So we have uh, two really quite wonderful filmmakers who were brought to the festival um, to explore some of their films and to have this class where we can, or not really a class, but a discussion where we can talk about um, uh, film and the filmmakers. To my far left is Laurent Conte. He's really one of the great um, uh, young French filmmakers of the uh, uh, late 80s, 90s, and, and contemporary, uh, contemporary filmmakers. Um, to my immediate left is James Gray, um, somebody I've gotten to know over the recent years and whose films are simply wonderful. Um, we had the chance to see a film that we brought here, his first film, Little Odessa, um, which he did at the age of 25, which is no darn fair. Having said that, Marav, I'd like to start with you. Um, tell us a little bit about um, how you came to filmmaking. I think people would like to know you were a, um, a fine young fellow growing up and going to good schools in France, and you decided at some point that cinema was important to you and that you wanted to do that. Tell us the process. Um, no, I, I don't think I had this uh, idea long before trying. You know, I think I learned how to make film in the school, and I went in this school by I think by chance. Um, and when you're young and you want to make films, what's the process? Um, you know, what's the support structure? How do you get an agent? Do you go to a film school? Do you get a? Uh, is that all about getting a? You know, a, a working lexicography of film terms? Or the school where I learned everything about making a film, but also what happened just after with four friends, we created a small production company uh, where. All of us made our first uh, short films with friends who were technicians who worked on, on our films. And there was sort of a cooperative of production that, uh, that was very open to everything. You know, we didn't have any idea of what uh, producing a film would mean. Um, <coughs> James, <coughs> you both actually start making films in the mid-90s. Mid um, tell us a little bit about how you decided to transform yourself from the sons of immigrants um, into a filmmaker in a business that may well have and definitely did start as an immigrant business. I want to say something very corny first, if I can, which is that I'm very honored to be here in Iceland and especially seated next to Mr. Laurent Cante, who I think is a great director. My father told me, I loved movies, and my father told me, he said, I said, I want to be a filmmaker. My father said, don't do that, you'll never make it. We have no connections. Stop thinking about that right now. He told me, this was about 1983, he said that I should go into computers. He said there was a company called Microsoft <laughs> that had potential. See, in, in the United States, everybody becomes a film director, who is a film director, in a different way. There's no one real route to do it. And I never thought of it as a career. I started making these little Super 8 films. And when I had to go to college, the only way that we could afford college was on a scholarship. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your work with actors? No, uh, how do you go, to, uh, go about it? Or what's important in that process for you? No, from the casting to rehearsal and shooting? So all directors work with actors very differently. The thing to focus on, I think, uh, for, for me anyway, the thing to focus on is that really the director is the one kind of useless person on the set in one respect. You're never sure when a beautiful thing, an accident happens that enriches the scene immeasurably, and you can never then get it again. So all the sound people and the camera people they hate it. I was thinking, uh, asking you about, why would you think that uh, storytelling attracts people so much? You know, what do you think is the essence of, of this attraction? We need, human beings need story because our lives are nonsensical and meaningless and a large part of us knows that and story organizes our lives in a way that uh, 
it doesn't really exist in the world, so it satisfies a real fantasy of ours. I want to thank the um, Reykjavik International Film Festival for having the nerve, taste, drive to bring you a selection of great films and great film artists. I want to thank great film artists for having um, the love of their own films to bring them to our Reykjavik and to be here with us. And I want to thank all of you for your passion for cinema and for being here. And we love you. <laughs>